Yo, what's good, everybody? My name's Rain. I'm back with another video. All right, I'm gonna make this intro uh, as short and as quick as possible. All right, so today uh, we're gonna be testing NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. All right, they introduced this setting right here um, recently on one of the last updates. So NVIDIA, Call of Duty, Activision, whatever, they all work together, put this in here. Um, this is for 40 series cards, but I tell you right now, uh, if you have a 40 series card, this is definitely worth it. I think this is this is absolutely amazing. Um, now, given why are you thinking, you know, well, why would you want to, you know, turn on the setting if you have 40 series cards when you're probably already getting, you know, crazy frames? Well, let's say, you know, you have a, a 1440p monitor or 4K uh, monitor or TV that you want to use and you just want, you know, let it be as smooth as possible and you want to rock all the high settings. This may be perfect for you. So in this video, I'm going to go in Fortune's Keep. I'm going to go in Neutral Spot. I'm going to go 1080p. Uh, 1440p and then 4k resolution and then I'm gonna see the frame difference I'm gonna turn it off and on uh, to show you what I get on each uh, Resolution and then I'm gonna keep these same settings. These are the settings that I rock right here All right, there you go. Uh, I have a 4090 and i9-14900k and then uh, 8000 megahertz RAM All right, so it's gonna give you an idea uh, what my you know rig has and then how many frames you'll get with your rig so uh, Yeah um, oh, as far as uh, input delay and anything visually, I've used this before, and honestly, I didn't really notice anything. Um, visually, game looked great. Uh, input delay, I mean, I'm on mouse and keyboard. I, you know, ha didn't do any crazy flicks. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I, I really didn't notice any. It may be there. If anything, if you don't notice it on mouse, you're definitely not going to notice it on controller. So yeah, I would say definitely give this a try. I got a gameplay while using it. Um, Nice little gameplay. It felt good the entire time. So, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to show those frames for you guys. I'm going to show the gameplay. And then uh, I got a little outro. And, uh, you know, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, go ahead and try this setting. Leave it in the comments of, you know, your experience. And uh, let me know what you think. Because, I'll be honest, usually any other DLSS setting uh, for, like, upscale, sharpening, stuff like that. That's supposed to help your frames. Usually makes the game look worse. It makes the game feel worse. Um, but this, this is, this is definitely something new. So I think, you know, uh, this might be a big step in the future for people who, uh, don't have great cards. So hopefully they can implement this somehow on 30 and 20 series cards. If you're really, you know, that far behind, uh, on your GPUs and, um, eventually every GPU going forward, uh, you know, it'll have this setting. So on high demand games, which, you know, always come out, they're not optimized or this and that, but people love to play them. This will help a bunch. Um, so yeah, I think this can be used casually or competitively. And uh, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so I got a neutral spot for this right now. All right, we are, these are the settings that I showed you guys and my graphics quality. All right, this is 1080p. Uh, I'm gonna keep the same spot. All right, so same settings, 1080p. We're gonna go turn on the frame generation. All right, all right. Boom, now we're getting close to 400. I mean, that's in, that's insane. I think it was around like 250, 260, and now we're like 350 to 400. So that's pretty solid right there. All right, and then we're going to go turn it back. Now we're going to go bump it up to 2K resolution, which I believe is somewhere around like 133. Yeah, that's it's about right there. All right, so bump it over right there. All right, so without the frame generation on, we're now getting 260, 270, no frame generation. All right, now we're gonna go turn that on. And now we're getting over 300. So on 2K resolution, this is about giving you like a 50 frame boost. All right, so now I'm gonna go back. We're gonna turn this off. We're gonna go bump this up all the way to 4K. All right, we're gonna apply, boom. But, all right, so now we're just under 200 frames. So looking out, we're at top keep. Literally, it's just hitting 200 frames. All right, now we're going to turn on frame generation. And now it seems around at 4K resolution, that's where it's not gonna help you too much. All right, so now we're only getting 15 frames more. So this is gonna give you an idea uh, about like how much it's gonna help. Um, I'd say at 1080p and 2K, it's going to help the most. And 4K is obviously very demanding on your system. So uh, I think 
maybe that might be a little rarity for some people. I'd say if we like get up and walk around a little bit. See if we go over here. This is remember this is 4K resolution. No, we're maintaining 200. I listen. I tell you right now, moving around, it this this feels pretty good, especially on mouse and keyboard when you're flicking, you're moving quick. I mean, it feels like pretty responsive. So if you're a controller, this may just feel normal. Yeah, like anything like this. I mean, it feels good. The game looks good. I mean, it's on 4K resolution, but uh, <laughs> I mean, this is solid. I think this is this is very solid. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 1080p and uh, keep the same settings. I'm going to turn on the frame generation, all right? And then I'm just going to try to, like, get a nice little gameplay, maybe, like, 25, 30 kills, and just, you know, see if, like, uh, if I'm using these settings, using the frame generation, and see, like, how much it actually helps. Um, and if it's actually, like, doing anything negative for my game and my gameplay, and if I can actually tell. So I'm right now, just for uh, let you guys know, I'm using a, the Logitech G Pro uh, Super Light. I'm on a 1,000 hertz polling rate. Um, I don't use controller, so if you want to use that, uh, it probably, it's honestly probably going to feel a lot better. So I'm getting one like 190. It's about 300 when I look at the sky. It's crazy to get 100 frames. But yeah, I think I think it's going to vary depending on where you're on the map, but I think this gives you guys an idea. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys uh, in the gameplay. Peace. Dude, oh my god. I mean, that took, that took forever, bro.
Marking the on your attack map. Deployed. Look, I said 25 to 30. Here we go. Um, I gotta be honest. I didn't really feel much of a input delay. It didn't feel lagging. I saw everyone just fine. I am on 1080p. It's on higher settings, but still, like, I'm not, I'm not on 1440p or 4K. Um, usually DLSS, uh, it, it does decrease, you know, um, the quality visually. Um, and, you know, sometimes it just, it feels a little off, but I didn't do any crazy flicks or anything, but I gotta say, overall, even on mouse and keyboard, it felt pretty good. It felt responsive, um, and it felt smooth. So if you have, I, my monitor is only 240 hertz. So if you have a 360 hertz or 500 hertz monitor, and you want to take it to that next level, and you play 1080p, and you you know you want to see, uh, you know you want to get the most out of your monitor, and you want to see if you can hit those 500 frames. I'll be honest, I'd probably be consistently over 500 if I turn all my settings on low, uh, like I've played before in the past, or like most people play on too. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great setting. I'm going to, you know, I think, you know, do your research. I But as far as, you know, just using it and from user experience, um, and if you have a 40 series card, I say, you know, go ahead, try it out. Especially if you're a controller. Controller, I doubt you'd be able to, you know, really feel it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, for those of you that didn't even know about this setting, I hope you go and, you know, try and test it out and, you know, see if it's the best for you. Uh, I appreciate you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. But I'm tiling Why that's that smile my smiling Why you gotta go and try me Everybody think that I'm high but I've been crying